Hi everyone, welcome back. We are studying uh, Amazon Avid Educate and I am going to practice lab, four, uh, lab 6 today, Introduction to IAM. And this is going to take 40 minutes. If you haven't seen other practices, you can go back and watch my previous videos. And now we are going to start uh, the 6th lab. We have one more to go and hopefully hopefully it will all be done i think my second lap was not um, submitted properly so i may need to go back and do that but anyway we are going to do lap six together right now let's start the lap because it's taking a little bit of time uh, and i will just see where to start now explore the users and groups okay we are just going to start it now It's ready and I'm going to take the management console out again and explore the users and groups. Security services, security, security, um, service to locate security, identity and compliance services. I'm not sure. There's not that region that you are in is for example North Virginia. The region is played in the upper right corner of the console page. You might need this information later in the tab. And this is where it is. And through the services menu locate security. Uh, I know how to select security compliance. Shall we just Go here. Choose I am. Anyway, uh, the navigation pane. Um, just a sec. Just realized my microphone was not uh, hooked. So, um, okay. Navigation pane on the left. Choose users. Users and user one, two, three. Choose the name <coughs> one. Hmm. Summary page. This brings you to some summary page for user with Indonesian stuff. It didn't show me. We we'll just need to go inside, maybe. Okay, that will be displayed. Most user one does not have any permission. Add permission. Choose the groups tab. Groups. There's no groups. Security credentials. Console password. Mm, where is it? Here. This allows user access AWS Management Console. In the navigation pane of the left, choose user groups. Enabled user groups. The following groups have already been created for you. Admin support, S3 support. Choose the name of EC2 support group. And this brings you to the summary page of EC2. On the permissions tab, this is policy permissions. This group has a main policy called permissions. Okay, this is already there. Manage policies are available policies, but either by this or administrator. Under policy name, choose the link for the Amazon. Is it a red access only policy name? Choose the link, okay. Uh, choose the JSON tab, okay. A policy defines that actions are allowed for or denied by uh, for specific areas resources. This policy is granting permission to list and describe view 
information about is Elastic Compute Cloud, Elastic Cloud Balancing, Amazon CloudWatch, EC2 Auto Scaling, this ability to view resources but not modify them is it is ideal for assigning to support raw statement. Statement in an IAM policy have the following basic structure, effect, action, resource. In the navigation panel select choose user groups, choose name user groups. User S3 support, permissions, permissions, and red auto only access. Choose the JSON tab, this policy permissions to get and list for all the resources. Get and list. Okay. Choose user groups and admin permissions, admin policy, JSON, describe certain things. Choose cancel to go. To close the policy. Okay. Business scenario for the remain remainder of the lab, you will work with these users and group to enable permissions that support the following business scenario. Your company is growing its use of resources and it's using any Amazon EC2 instances and Amazon S3 buckets. You want to give access to new stuff depending on your Job function as it's identified, indicated in the following table. So, for the user group, we will agree, go, we will add in group, read on access to Amazon S3, read on permission in group, read on access. Okay, add users to groups. Okay, do I need to do by myself? or add user one support group user groups s3 support uh, user on the user tab add you choose add users we are going to add user one i guess has been added to the group add user two to is the support group is it two Add user. Okay, this is done. Did I save it? Add one group. Is it to support group? Permissions users. Add users to add user. And no need to save on the admin. To the admin, I need to add user three add user okay one each group should have one user column okay as shown in the table business scenario sign in and test users <coughs> get the console sign in url sign in <coughs> um console sign in where is it Not sure how to get it on the dashboard. Dashboard. Navigation panel. Let's choose dashboard. Here. Um. Sign in. URL here. Um. Name of the user, go back, go back. Okay, just let's do what they say. Okay, test user one, user one, user one, password is lab, password labs. 
S Okay, there is this choose F3. Um, choose the name of your buckets. Buckets, this one. Um, now test whether the user has access. And about the content, because this user is part of S3 support group in Miami, they have permission to view a list of Amazon S3 buckets and their content. Now test the user has access to EC2. I can see the buckets, upload, and now we can change EC2. <laughs> okay, this is not not authorized to perform this operation. Um, okay, user first sign out, user one, sign out and log back in as count alias. Let me see where it is. Ouch. User two yes word yes word two point account I need the account yes. Okay, it's closed. Reload. Need to go back, maybe. Okay, on the IM dashboard. On the dash account ID, this is what I need. So it's going to be user user two and lab password. That's what Okay. Um now you are able to go to EC2 instance and go and see running instances. Now we can stop the instance, select the instance, and stop the instance. Um, you are not authorized to perform the action. Okay. Choose the service man, choose S3. Okay. And see the buckets. Okay. First, sign out of the console. Sign out. Now, test user log back in. 
Oh, you know. Okay, this console is not working. Okay. Now go to AM. Lock as user user three user three and user three lab password three oops something is lab lab Okay, now we are going to test EC2 instances is listed region A. Then your region might be incorrect. Select the instance 2 instance and region that you were in it, region for example. Select the instance 2 instance state menu instance state and stop instance okay and user two from your stop is the instance change the stopping and starts to sh shut down okay when it's done i can then submit okay, there are no instances Close your browser and submit. Shall we wait to see if it's hope it's closed? Can we go and check? Let's see. Okay, no instance is running. We can now submit. Uh, this one is done also and it worked properly that is great i will see you in my next video bye